One of the problems with using a Kevin's Concealment Wallet Holster is that it can eventually tend to wear holes in your pocket, sometimes on the top or sometimes on the bottom or on the corners. So, here's how to solve that problem. You make a patch that's cut out to fit the inside of the pocket made out of ripstop nylon or some kind of ballistic cloth. If you happen to have a seamstress in the house, you can have them take off your pocket and stitch it to the inside. If not, you can attach it with this. It's called Amazing Goop Household Cement. This is the only glue that I've found that's actually tough enough and can resist washings well enough to, uh, to do this with. So, here's how to do it. Apply a very generous layer to the side of the patch that's going to be facing the outside of the pocket. Fold it in half so you can spread it around evenly. Make sure the edges are covered. And with the layer completely covering it, now it's time to put it inside the pocket. You might be able to just slide it in like this, but that can be tricky. So if that's the case, take a pair of pliers, like this, grip the bottom edge, and use that to pull it inside. You want to make sure the patch is spread out inside to the edges because around the edges and the corners is where the holes form the most. If you've got fraying around holes you can use the glue to kind of seal up the fraying so it doesn't fray anymore. And that's it. Give it a full 24 hours to dry. Okay. The glue has had time to set. The patch is in there solidly. And as long as you used the right kind of glue, Amazing Goop Household Cement, remember that name. If you can't find it in a store, Google it. You'll probably find it on eBay or Amazon somewhere. As long as you use that glue, it will survive washings, and that patch will outlast the jeans. And, with that patch in place, you are set to comfortably and securely carry your Kevin's Concealment Wallet Holster.